ACT 365 makes it easy to build lasting relationships with quick, organized access to customer details and interactions. Here's how to create contacts and groups in ACT 365. Once you've logged in, click the plus button in the upper right corner and choose New Contact. And now just type in the data for the contact you'd like to create. In the Custom Fields area at the bottom, I want to make sure that for business type I choose Charity. Once you've entered all the details in for your contact, click the Save button, and now we can see that this new contact record has been created. If you click the Info tab, you'll see all the additional information that you supplied in the contact record, including the custom fields. Next, let's add an image to this contact. So once again, from the Contact view, now we'll click the Edit button and locate the image drop-down here. There are two choices, Use Facebook or Use Uploaded. To automatically grab images from Facebook, click the Connect to your Social Accounts link here. And from here, you can connect to Facebook to get profile pictures, or you can also connect to Gmail if you want to import your Google Contacts. I'm going to go back to my contact record for Aaron, and my other choice is to use an uploaded file. Once you choose Uploaded, grab the image you want to use and click Open. This will automatically resize any of your images, so now I can click Save. In Act 365, you can also create group records to easily target your emails. Then once you've created a group, you can add contacts to a group manually or automatically using criteria of your choice. There are two different ways to create a group. I could click the plus button in the upper right corner and then choose New Group. Or, from a contact record, I can go to the Groups tab, and in the area where it says Add a Group, I can type the name of the group I want to create and then click the Create New Group Trade Shows button beneath that. Act 365 creates the group and adds this contact to it. You can also see that the new group now appears among the other groups in the left column. What if I want to create a group that gets automatically populated with contacts based upon one of the fields in Act 365? Here's what I mean. If I look at this contact record that I just created for Aaron Kingston, I can see that his business type is Charity. So I want to create a group for all of my contacts who work for charities, and I want Act 365 to automatically manage group membership based on this field. Here's how to do that. We'll click the plus button and choose New Group for name. I'll call it Charities. I could also leave a description in this box if I want, but I'll skip that for now. And in Criteria, I need to choose the field Business Type, and then I'll type Charity in the field next to it. Now when I click Save, Act 365 creates my Charities group, and it also has automatically added any contacts to this group if they have Charity as their business type. Currently I have three contacts in this group, and just to prove my point, I'm going to search for a contact named Maria Anderson. I'll edit her contact record and change her business type to Charity. Now when I click Save, and I go back to my Charities group, we can see that Maria Anderson has now automatically been added to this group. And so in Act 365, it's very easy to create contacts and groups of contacts, and you can even set predefined rules on how to add contacts to those groups. If you have questions or need help at any time, go to the help link at the bottom of your screen and choose Success Center.